Hey guys, I'm Lauren. I'm just here to do a gear overview for my PCT through hike. Um, I'm about to start tomorrow actually, so better hope this stuff all works. So in no particular order, I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of this backpack. It's more or less packed the way that I'll probably pack it, but obviously that's subject to change as we get moving. All right, so first of all, just sitting on top here is my puppy coat. So this is a mountain hardware. I think like Ghost Shadow, Ghost Whisper, something. I actually can't find the name on it anywhere, but you guys will know what that is. Um, but that's just to keep me warm. Looks like desert temperatures are pretty low right now in the evening, so we'll see. Um, all right, got Shelter. This is the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL Carbon two-person. Um, so that is pretty cool. Yeah, I've set it up a handful of times and it's pretty easy. It's a freestanding tent, so it's got poles. Um, they're sitting in the side pocket of my backpack, um, as well as a few little stakes. Um, and I also got the footprint to go with it since this is, you know, Dyneema, carbon fiber, whatever. So it's a little bit more delicate. So I did want to make sure that I don't get holes in the bottom of it. Um, and also it has a cool function where you can kind of clip the outer shell straight onto the the footprint so you don't actually need the inside so it's a little bit like a cross between cowboy camping and being in a tent so we'll see if you know we'll see if that works there's that um this is just a sea to summit dry bag uh 13 liter all my food is in there i'll open it up though because it's got my cook kit inside as well cool so for a cook kit, I've got pretty standard stuff. Um, this is a long handled spoon. It's got the silicone um, sort of mouthpiece on it. Figured that would be pretty easy for like scraping stuff. Just make cleanup a little bit easier. Um, I've got the Sea to Summit expandable silicone cup. I like to be able to drink a warm beverage while I'm also eating my food. So I figured that would work. My pot also doesn't have a lid and this kind of has the ability to sit right on top of this cup so it will kind of act as a lid as well as a cup um gas can that's uh i guess not part of base weight consumable right um so just bought a bunch of these on amazon um, i've got the brs stove that you get on amazon the little like 13 dollar one that comes from china and probably end up taking it out of the bag honestly it's a bit of a pain in the butt but there that is, if you could see it. It's just a little guy, nothing fancy. Um, lighter. Um, and this is just a Snow Peak 600 titanium cup with the little hot lips attachment so it don't burn my face off. It's got the handles, of course. Cool. Oh. Sitting beside me is my electronics bag. So I've got an anchor dual port IQ charger thingy so I can charge two things at once and it's got like the quick charge capability I think. Um, this is the DJI Osmo Pocket so I'll be using that to film stuff. It does 4k and like 60 frames a second so you can use slow mo stuff so I'm uh, looking forward to playing around with that. Oh we got an airplane coming over. Just give it a second. Uh, let's see what else is in here. I have my clothes in a plastic bag. Super high tech up in here. We've got Ziploc freezer bags. Um, so this just has a couple extra pairs of darn tough micro crew socks to keep my feet warm and cozy. Um, I have a buff, nothing special. Just keep the sun off my neck and probably just use that to wipe stuff, honestly. Let's see. So here I have a base layer. It's just a uh, merino wool REI uh, quarter zip sweater, or not sweater, but merino wool base layer to sleep in most likely and you know occasionally layer under things if I'm getting chilly out there. And then to go with that I've also got the same REI merino wool um, leggings that go with that. So they're just um, like a uh, long john base layer kind of thing. Cool. I've got the REI Ladies Sport underwear. They're just like quick drying, comfy, easy. I've got a merino wool toque or beanie, I guess, for all y'all Americans. 
and that is just to keep my head warm obviously at night probably I will just sleep in that and to keep my hair looking real nice cool so that's just all in a ziploc bag obviously waterproof so that's pretty cool and uh, they were just in the kitchen already so super cheap all right what's next okay Please. cool so this is my enlightened equipment revelation custom quilt so it is just in a osprey 12 liter dry sack fits nice and easy in there Ooh, i got it in orange and purple so that's exciting and that's just a quilt i I'm a side sleeper and I really don't like to have my feet stuck in a foot box. So this one just has a drawstring on the foot box and like a little quarter zip. Um, so I'm not trapped. I'll probably just end up using this as a blanket for a lot of the time because I just don't like to be all tucked in. Cool. Shove that back in there. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, so that's it for the main pouch. In my outside pocket I have a rain jacket and let's see this is just an rei like gore-tex rain jacket that i used to use as an outer shell for skiing i already had it it's about 10 ounces so it's you know on the heavier end of a rain jacket but really not that bad um so that yeah it's just an rei co-op brand gore-tex jacket um that i actually really like it's got waterproof zippers and pockets and yeah it's a good little piece of gear Mm -hmm. um, I've got a little first aid kit here, so nothing crazy. That's got, you know, some Leica tape, some sunscreen. That is Bear Republic. It's a mineral-based sunscreen, so it's reef safe and, you know, decently good for your skin. Hopefully it won't give you cancer on top of the skin cancer that you're trying not to get. Um, it's a 50 SPF. Um, I also have this that I just picked up at REI. I don't know if you can see these things. Uh, just a little lip balm sunscreen. Whoop! It's bright green, which is nice because it's something I always lose in my backpack. Um, a little bit of Advil and allergy meds because guess what? I'm already feeling the allergies and we're only two days into California. Um, some antiseptic wipes. Actually, I could probably take some of these out. I think I have too many to start with. Um, and a little bit of antibiotic ointment. Then there are some extra batteries from a headlamp that I'll actually probably just put in a resupply box and have mailed to myself now that we're here looking at everything. And then I've got nail clippers and tweezers. And if I get, you know, splinters or things, tweezers are just always handy. Cool. All right, I have the bathroom kit. So nothing too exciting in here. It is a Ziploc bag with the Deuce of Spades number two. Super lightweight trowel. Obviously leave no trace is important. So we're digging cat holes up in here. A um, little bit of toilet paper. I also have a Kula cloth that I'm realizing is in the mailbox. So I'll go grab that and I'll show you at the end. And then um, these are just OB tampons for the ladies out there. Um, not a super fan of the Diva Cup. So those are kind of the most environmentally friendly lowest weight option so that's what we're working with that's what i use every day anyway all right carrying on we have a black diamond headlamp here it has a bunch of different settings on it red light flashy things um it's got a dimmer which is nice and it's just battery powered so that's why i've got the extra AAA batteries um but it's nice and comfy and stretchy and yeah i'm a fan of that Cool. Got some hand and face wipes just to, you know, wipe some of the grime off at the end of a day. That's just a small 20 pack. Um, it's pretty lightweight and easy to keep. Let's see. Let's see. Sea knock three liter water bag, bladder thing, whatever you call it. Becto three liter. There we go. See, I'm really bad at the names of all this stuff. I'm just like, it's gear. I put things in it. I use it. There, it's done. So that's that for water. Um, especially through the desert sections, I've just got like a, I'll show you. Just the one liter life bottle. Oh, that's the, 
sorry, 700 milliliter and one liter bottles. And then I have a little straw that goes in them as well. So I can stay hydrated a little bit easier. I figure having a straw is helpful there to just remind me to constantly drink water. So it'll be just hanging on the front of my backpack, the small one. Um, what else have we got going on? Speaking of water, where did I put it? I have the Sawyer Squeeze water filter that apparently I've taken out of my backpack, but we'll put back in. Um, we're just going in a kind of random order here, but this is the Thermarest sleeping pad. It's the Neo X Lite, whatever, the one that everyone else uses. It's yellow, it's comfy, it blows up. And then I also have a Sea to Summit pillow because I can't sleep without a pillow because Oh, apparently I'm a princess <laughs> but it's nice and soft and fuzzy and doesn't weigh much and it just um, rolls up right inside with uh, with the sleeping pad Oops, which I can show you if you want it's nothing fancy again yeah it's just that thermo rest you know the one I got the women's version it's a little bit warmer um, and it's a regular length I didn't get the short one you know sleep is important to me so Um, this baggie just has contact solution and lenses and a case. I wanted to keep them clean and dry so they're in a little reusable plastic bag. And I've got a hairbrush to take care of this mop so I don't end up with crazy weird dreadlocks at the end. And a little journal to keep some notes and a pen that goes with it that's floating around somewhere here on the bottom. There's a pen, right? Super fancy. Actually, these are my favorite pens. I have to order them off Amazon from China because they're awesome. <laughs> I have a little baby knife. So this is from Spider and it is the ladybug knife. So it's just a little guy opens up. And I just have it clipped to my Garmin InReach Mini that my mom was insistent that I get so that she knows if I'm dead or not. So we compromised and got one. <laughs> Ah, okay, I found the extra pocket. Uh, cool, so I also have a pair of sunglasses. They are Blender's Eyewear polarized, funky, cool sunglasses to make me look super great, but also keep my eyes from burning. Um, I just have a little cloth to wipe things down, just like a microfiber REI brand wipe things life. There's the sore squeeze, I found it. It was in the top pocket that I forget about. So that regular Sawyer squeeze with the, yeah, nothing fancy going on. Just filter the water, don't get Giardia. Uh, oh, have AirPods as well. I will probably also just bring my backup regular headphones because I swear these only last like an hour and then they're done. But I like to not have a cord if I can handle it. Um, and then I've got hand sanitizer. This for some reason was the most difficult thing to get on the whole gear list. Thank you very much, coronavirus. Um, so that's all I could get. It was like $7 for this silly bottle of hand sanitizer, but we've got some. And yeah, I think that should do it. That's pretty much it. I know that wasn't like super specific. I don't have the weights of everything. I truly don't care that much. Um, I mean, all of it's great gear that I've got from cool places. Most of it I got on like sale at REI or on the internet. Um, it was some really good bargain shopping and have been collecting gear for like seven months now. So I was able to take my time kind of collecting pieces and get things when they were the best price. So I didn't have to spend like a terrible amount of money on this, relatively speaking. <laughs> oh, dog. There's a puppy. Hold on. Hey. Oh. Just for your viewing pleasure, we have a puppy. Look how cute he is. This is Roxy. She's very cute and photogenic. Um, where were we? Oh yeah, so as far as stuff that I'm wearing, I have this Arcteryx. It's called a real long sleeve, like R-I-E-L, real long sleeve hiking shirt. And I like it because it's really, I mean, first of all, it's like super lightweight, it's long sleeve, so it keep my arms out of the sun too much, but it also, for all the ladies out there, 
has pockets. <laughs> um, so that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. And these are, I'm just going to be wearing shorts. These are like quick dry Columbia. I think they're called the Sandy Short. I just had these for, I don't know, a year or something that I already had. Uh, but they're great. They dry really quickly. They're really comfortable. They've got a five inch inseam. Um, so hopefully that will prevent the chafing. I've used them on a hike before and they're great. So that's cool. Um, also have a hat, nothing fancy, just keeps the sun out of my face. That I think I got at like Winners or TJ Maxx or something a million years ago. Um, also trekking poles, I have the Black Diamond Ergo Cork trekking poles in orange because that's pretty cool. Um, so those are cool. I got them off Amazon. They were on sale, which is nice. And then as far as like winter stuff, I have the Petzl uh, Glacier Light Ride. Um, ice Axe, that's the word, Ice Axe. So I got one of those so that I don't fall down the mountain in the Sierras. Sierra, I have learned, Sierra, Nevada, yeah. And then Petula, Petula Microspikes. So again, I don't fall down a mountain in the snow. But those will get mailed to me at Kennedy Meadows, probably. Or, you know, if I run into snow sooner than that. Um, and on my feet, I've got the Classics. Well, I guess these are the new version of the Classics. Ultra, Lone Peak, 4.5. Really cool, poppy red color. Same as my hair. This was unintentional. Um, but I got those in a size 8. I'm usually a 7, 7.5. Um, got an 8. I've been wearing these around. They've got a few miles on them now, and they're super comfy. Um, and lots of, lots of toe room. You guys know the wide toe box, the zero drop, the grippies. That's what's up. Cool. But uh, that's it for things that I'm wearing. Oh, I'll also be wearing a pair of the uh, darn tufts that you saw, the socks that are in the backpack that you already saw and the underwear that you already saw. And that should do it. Hiker trash for life. <laughs> and I'm realizing I forgot to show you my backpack. So this is the Gossamer Gear G420, G, you know, the one with all the numbers and the letters. I should know what it's called, but it's Gossamer Gear. It's, oh, there we go. It's the G420. And it's got a big old mesh pocket on the outside, a couple of nice pockets on the sides. Um, I did opt for these shoulder straps so that I can keep my phone and stuff in there. It's uh, frameless, but it's got a sit pad in the back here that you can take on and out. And that actually provides a decent amount of kind of structure to the outside um, and has little vents in it. So it keeps me from sweating as much as I might sweat. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to be a sweaty mess regardless. So there we go. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I really like this backpack so far. I got the medium size. I'm five, six and a bit, five, seven on a really good day. Um, so I ended up getting the medium. I had the small at first and it was too small. It was just too short in the torso. I like to have it sit on my hips and it just wasn't quite getting there. Um, so I did uh, opt for the medium size. But yeah, anyway, that should do it. I think that covers all the gear that is in my backpack. Obviously, if I have forgotten anything super important, please leave a comment down below on the video. Um, I would appreciate it. But uh, other than that, yeah, I'm ready to head out, hit the trail tomorrow and uh, see where this adventure takes us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Bye.